Welcome to IBK where we talk about cars and tech. Today we've got the ThinkPad X1 which is the Extreme Gen 2. And just, just try to see how it looks. I think it looks outstanding, especially this matte black. If you're the type of person who likes black, black colors on stuff like phones, cars, clothes, anything, you'll like this because has a very subtle but sophisticated professional look. Love how it says X1 here. I love how this think pad has this little light here. It's subtle designs like this that make it unique. So that lights up, it's kind of doing a breathing pattern right now because it's sleeping. All right. Uh, let's talk about ports here. Ports, USB-C, USB-C. So USB-A size micro SD card with the lock. Okay, I'm trying to be very gentle with this here. Um, oh, by the way, this is military grade, so you can throw it around, but just want to be gentle. All right, two USB 3, Thunderbolt 3, USB-C, Thunderbolt 3, sorry. That right there is the power plug. So if that bothers you, then that's something to look out for. HDMI, sorry, I can't get this focused. HDMI right there, and then the ethernet dongle so it doesn't have a ethernet port here just because it's so slim so you need to buy this dongle it doesn't come with the computer you have to buy it separately and then you have your headphone jack all right so there you go and guess what that is remember that i'll show you in all right so that is the thinkpad gen 2 extreme and these are not cheap computers and I guess if you use it, you kind of tell why, but overall, outstanding, outstanding computer. Uh, best thing about this computer is that keyboard, right? Lenovo is known for their keyboard. Good actuation, solid thunk sounds, concave. Like, this is their trademark when it comes to Carbon series, their ThinkPad series. This keyboard with this nipple you'll immediately recognize what this is. And some people just love it. They love this keyboard. Uh, they, they love how it presses, that's how it sounds. It has a thunk sound to it, so it's pretty good. So yeah, like I was saying, the thunk sound on this, some people love it. Personally, I I don't really care for it. I know that sounds crazy because I love keyboards, but it's all right. Um, I don't mind shallower keys, and I don't—I don't know if I like the spacing of this keyboard. Like, I wish it was a little bit more compressed. It's, I, I don't know. I'm just not used to this keyboard yet. But that's just my own opinion. Some people love it, like I said, so don't worry about it. Um, overall, the key outline is good. It has full solid buttons for up and down uh, you got your function in the beginning it starts with all these function keys you can reverse it in the setting but for now I'm just using it if I need to use F5 I would use FN F5 so it works you got your Adobe Atmos right there and then you've got your signature Intel i7 it says V Pro uh, ninth generation. This is the not the i9. This is the ninth generation i7. I think 9750 chip. I think that's what it is. All right. So, yeah, it's fast. It's super fast. And I've been running this mostly on my battery today. 47 percent, which is outstanding. Because I've, I've used it for a long time, like all day, from the morning till now. Well, I shouldn't say all day. I've been doing some stuff, but I've even installed this guy right here, which is the brand new Microsoft Edge. So, yeah, that's cool. I mean, the Microsoft Edge, I, it just came out today. I installed it. It's eating up my battery life the most. I checked my battery usage, and it says 47%, so it's using it up a lot. All right. But overall, the battery life is pretty good. Of course, the 10th generation, 
the next generation of this is gonna be gonna be probably better, but I could live with this. It's fine. Um, but I do set the I do set the setting to best battery life a little towards that, just because I like how uh, I like to use this as much as I can throughout the day without plugging it in. All right, another thing that I like to mention is this right here. Yep, one finger open. And this fingerprint scanner right here, this is it, right here. It is fast. Like if you press the power button right there, okay? And then you press this, boom. And you gotta understand, like I just set this up once in the beginning. I didn't even put much thought to it. I just went ahead and put my finger there, scanned it twice, and it's been working like a charm ever since. So I thought I would have to go back and redo my fingerprints, but nope, it works great. So I'm just using it. So good job there. I love when things like that work fast. Uh, my friend's HP, for some reason, does not do that. So I show him how fast mine is. Did I already talk about this? Again, privacy shutter. Best thing right there. I am so sorry. I just keep damaging this laptop which I don't want to do good thing it's military grade all right so there you go that right there is the privacy shutter you can open it and then the red light goes away or the red marking goes away and then you can close it all right I don't think I'm gonna edit that part oh this is a kind of a live take but yeah that's basically ThinkPad Super fast, lighter than the XPS 15. I made a video on that. It's under four pounds, so it's lighter. The bezels kind of are different from the XPS 15. This has thicker bezels, but in person, like I said, it doesn't really matter. You can't really see it that much, so don't worry too much about it. it looks great in person. The thermal throttling is no issues here. I've been using this on my lap. I've been using this on this table. I haven't had a problem with thermals at all. Like no warning signs, nothing slowing down. The fan turns on and I, I don't really notice it. This fan that you're hearing in the background is not the fan from the laptop. I'm sorry about the, the fan noise. Can't do anything about it. It's where I'm filming this. Um, but yeah, overall, solid laptop. Uh, it's hard to see because everything's so black. But when you see it in person, it just looks amazing. Like it looks really professional. One thing that's not that amazing though, is the speaker. So the speaker is, how should I say? It's Dolby Atmos, but it's like down here. Remember that thing that I told you to look at? There's two speakers on here and here. And to be honest, it doesn't do much. It does not give it much justice, but it is a professional laptop. You're not using this for media consumption. You can game on it but you're not going to be using that as a main thing with this laptop. So at work, I actually put down the music. I don't really care for it. It's not a it's not a big deal for me. Maybe for you it is. But it's fine. Let me see if I can play something. All right, so let's use this new browser right here. This is the new Edge browser, guys. It just came today. We'll see how it goes. All right, this is royalty-free music, so it should be fine. All right, so tell me what you guys think. I mean, that's about as good as it sounds. I don't know how much my audio picked that up, but it's not bad, especially for, for a business laptop. So hopefully you guys are using it for similar purposes. One cool thing about this is it can play games. Like it has a solid NVIDIA 1650 graphics card, so you can download and play games. So it's awesome that it doesn't even look like it can play games, but you can whenever you're in the hotel or you're at home and you just want to unwind, fire up a game and you can play it. Right, so that's a cool thing. The keyboard lights up, of course. Uh, I don't know if I can really show you, but there it is. It's too bright in here to show you. 
that's level three, and then boom. So standard looks great. What else? It's just, other than that, I think I've covered everything. It's a great laptop. I think I'll be using it for a while. If you guys are in the market for this right now, they have a ton of sale going on. So check it out. Black Friday, Cyber Monday, that's when this thing was like super cheap. Uh, but I'm sure there's going to be a lot of events that come up to make this cheaper. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions, drop a comment below. As always, if you can, please subscribe. I try to do this all with my stuff or stuff that I can somehow borrow. But it's all my opinion. If you have questions, let me know. Again, much thanks to my viewers. Peace.